first day. Start at the top and stay there. If you want to succeed, study hard. Oh, hi. Stay away from the girls. My name is Safraz Manzor and I wrote the book, Greetings from Barry Park, which is the inspiration for Blinded by the Light. It's a story about my teenage years when I was lucky enough to discover Bruce Springsteen, whose lyrics inspired me to pursue my dreams. I want to be a writer, but my family is stuck in another century. Writing isn't a job. I need you to do more. I was always interested in writing. It just didn't seem possible. I'm really sorry. Who's that? The boss. Who's boss? The boss of us all. I first met Safraz when he had written an article about Bruce Springsteen in a paper, and I was like, wow, here's another Asian person who likes Springsteen. That's really unusual. Tell me about the boss. What does he know about our world? Bruce is the direct line to all this true and this shitty world. It was Springsteen that affected why I do what I do. So I wanted to write a book which was a tribute to the power of his music and how it can change somebody's life. Bear in mind, that was 2007. He showed me a very early copy of it, and I said, this is great. This isn't a movie, because it's a memoir, but I know how to turn it into a movie. I can feel it all right here. It's like Bruce knows everything I've ever felt. I said, there's no way this film is going to happen without Bruce Springsteen's blessing. As luck would have it, I was invited to the premiere of The Promise, and Bruce was coming. Rather than inviting her husband, we were both there together. As he approached, he saw Safras, and there aren't many Pakistanis with afros in the front row of Bruce concerts. He recognised him, he walked over. How are you doing? <laughs> the book was really beautiful. Thank we should you. have a chat about that. I want to make a film of it. Okay. And I'm going to direct it. I made Ben Dillon like victim. But go ahead, tell me your kids really love my movie. The next thing we have to do is write a script that Bruce would like. This was five years from 2012. After the script went off to Bruce, it was very nerve-wracking, because we didn't know if he'd even remember us. I get a phone call, and it's Gorinda, and she said, we've just heard from Bruce. What did he say? He said, I'm good with this. Go for it. It's like the most crazy thing in the world to have somebody whose music has utterly defined and shaped you tell you that he has spent time reading your story. When you hear the music that speaks to you, it makes your life change. My poems, they're not brilliant, but they're mine. These are crazy dreams. But in my head, I was thinking, kid from a Pakistani background, loves an unlikely hero, helps change his life, the sort of thing that could possibly make a film. And then we actually did it. <laughs> The story of Blinded by the Light is to say dreams can come true. It's about hope and how do we change our lives for the better. Bruce sings about not letting the hardness of the world stop you from letting the best of you slip away. Purpose of your visit? I'm going to see Bruce Springsteen's hometown. I can't think of a better reason to visit the United States than to see the home of the boss.